we should be careful with our water because we need to have it at the right place in the right amount at the right time. So that is why we need to be good stewards of that water. My role in our dairy as the environmental scientist is really focusing on water management. I live in a Colorado in a very dry climate right here where water is the most important thing to our state regardless of the industry that you're in whether it's agriculture or uh, any other kind of industry water is everything. They do produce milk and 87% of milk is water. They do drink a lot of water and I think it would really surprise people to know that one gallon of water on our dairy can be used as many as four times. The cows drink it. It's still clean, pristine water at this stage. So our cows um, on any given day, depending on if it's hot or cold or how much milk they're making, they will be consuming anywhere between 25 to around 35 gallons of water a day. So I always tell people just picture a bathtub full of water a day and they can consume upwards to over 100 pounds of feet um, every day. They're, they're, um, they work very hard. We call them our athletes on our farm. We use it to cool our milk. Groundwater is only 55 degrees, so we can kind of cool, begin cooling our milk. We use it to cool the milk, which, has, which needs to be cold when it goes to market. Then we can use that exact same water to clean our equipment. Then we can use that gallon again to clean out the back of our barn. And then after that, after the cows have used it, after the um, cleaning and all the processes that we use on the farm, then the water goes onto the fields with the crop nutrients to grow the feed that goes back to the cows so that they can make milk. And then ultimately we're storing all of that water, saving every drop of that water that's used on our dairy to apply to our fields, to grow our crops. You know, it ends up being nutrient rich water with um, you know, manure and other things mixed in it and so we can use it to fertilize our crops. And so the water cycle goes around and around. I think it's pretty amazing that the water we're using in our barn ultimately grows the crops we feed our cows.